This is a dream job for me, so I'm very excited about the opportunities that it provides. I'm excited firstly to learn more about the Faculty of Science and to have a better understanding of all the fantastic research and teaching that occurs in all of our schools and centres. And I'm also really excited about the possibility that I can create opportunities for people, uh, people including our staff and our students, and to enable them to be the best that they can be uh, in their endeavours as in research, teaching or learning. So I think the common theme of the previous roles that I've held, whether it's a research group leader or a teacher of undergraduate or postgraduate students or leadership roles elsewhere in the university has been leading teams. The common theme there is to be able to articulate where we're heading and, and what our vision is, whether it's you know learning a concept in a class or achieving a research outcome or, or achieving great things in a school and to be able to bring everyone along uh, in doing that. There are many challenges and they're very complex and I think that the real, um, really important thing is that we appreciate all of the complexity. We, we tend to sort of focus on trying to solve a problem and, and focus on a single thing and try and fix it and that isn't always uh, all there is to it. So I'm going to start with perception because I think that that is a big thing uh, in terms of women not just in the, this career, not just in, in science and leadership, but, but more generally. And that is how they perceive the role and how they perceive their career aspirations and how they perceive the path to them. The difficulty often is that all women see is men in those roles, so their role models are men, and they see the approaches that men use to achieve success. Uh, but women often just see how men perform in those roles and they either feel that they can't do that because it's not consistent with their style or they feel that they don't want to and I think that that is often a driver for people um, leaving careers because they can't see their, their clear path. So women uh, often have a tendency, myself included, to try and multitask and, and we're generally very good at this. But the risk in doing that is that we try and do everything all at once and we try and do it really well and we end up not doing, um, doing the best that we can possibly do. So I think a part of mentoring women is to help them to identify the activities that can have the greatest impact on their uh, professional uh, life and not necessarily trying to do, do everything all at once. It hasn't been as great as, as we might have hoped and I think that it just signals that there's a long way to go in terms of identifying all the contributing factors um, and how we might be able to, to work on those to make a, diff a bigger difference over time. So universities are here to innovate and to educate and we simply can't do that on our own. Everything that we do, we do in partnership with other people and other organisations.